Now the director of events, Ray Cluche, has joined us to tell us about events that's happening soon that's coming up for them. And Ray, of course, thank you so much for joining us today. You're you welcome. brought sunshine and color, so this is great because we got sunshine out Well, because we're fun. That's what we're here to have fun. So I can't come in here all corporate America. <laughs> like I'm dressed now with the suit, suit coat on, but it's okay. I've got on the yellow. I've got on the yellow. You've got something really important that's coming up. First of all, tell us what does what is Trail? What does it stand for? Uh, trail is transportation and recreation uh, alternatives in Louisiana. So our goal is to uh, grow parks, maintain parks, to give more um, outdoor recreation and kind of encourage a healthier lifestyle in America. So or in Louisiana. Right. And so in order to do that, you obviously need some support, and you have an event coming yes. up that's going to help hopefully help to provide that. Yes, the responders race is on 9-11 this Sunday. will be held at the uh, Bruce Arts Sports Complex. It's a beautiful venue and we're very excited to be there. And it is a 10K, a 5K, a one-mile fun run for the kiddos uh, or for the new runners that are just starting out. And the full battle rattle, which is a 5K, but you bring 30 pounds of extra weight on yourself like the sheriff's office SWAT team would be using. Uh -huh. And you can wear boots. Well, you have to wear boots. But I don't say what kind of boots you have to wear. Could be Delcom Reeboks if you want. <laughs> if you want to, Probably might, hopefully they won't need them because we have been experiencing some rain. What happens if it rains? First responders run in the. They work in the water. We can work in the rain too. Look at that. So it's rain or shine. It's rain or shine. Nice. Now, what, uh, what do folks need to do? Can they just show up, or is there pre-registration or anything like that? We would prefer that you show up. We would prefer that you have registered like months ago so we can plan and buy medals. So we have bought medals, we have bibs and all that, so we have to buy stuff ahead of time. So we always encourage everyone to register ahead of time to help us plan a better party for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, but if they want to register for this event, they can come that morning. It'll, uh, the gun takes off at 8 o'clock, so be there at 7 if you have not registered. And you guys are calling it the Responders Race, but this mm -hmm. is open to everyone. Oh, absolutely. It's, the whole point of Responders Race is for the civilians and the first responders to run together. They run to our side every day. Let's take one morning to run by theirs. So oh. that's kind of how I came from that universe before I came to Trail, and it's very, very near and dear to my heart. And uh, this year we're raising funds for uh, Officer Brian Rosa, who got hurt. Uh, yes, Lafayette. Police department. And uh, from the PD, so part of the proceeds will go to him, so and his family to help them through all this crazy time. That was so heartwarming. What you said about running, I love that they're it. running to our aid all the time. That's all right, so what do folks have to do to sign up? Where where can they go? Uh, LATrail.org, and you can see the list of all the events we have. Sugarman Triathlon is coming up in two weeks, and then Tour de Tacapaz, another 5K, 10K, and mm -hmm. that's uh, with Festival Acadien Creole. So we just in the fall rolling. every yeah. two yeah, I know I, I won't sleep until after Thanksgiving <laughs> but yeah I love your energy I oh, wish I had it <laughs> oh yeah but it wears off after a while all right this is taking place 9-11 Bruce Star Sports Complex responders race Got it. be there it's awesome <laughs> and so are you and so are you <laughs> right after the break